Welcome, Vols fans. Another episode of Tennessee Fan Talk. Your Vols, our Vols, everybody's Vols. Little little music did Put the Vols in your mouth. See what I did there? <laughs> These Vols in your mouth. It is 8 and 0. Oh, there's a lot, a lot of people, a lot of people who lost a little bit of money over this game. If you picked, which who would not pick the over? At 61 and a half, I think is what it ended up being. If you did not pick the over on that, you were crazy. Everyone picked it. Who to well, thought? I guess you are too crazy. Who to thought? The under. Tennessee's defense would allow six. Who would have thought three interceptions on Will Levis? We got a lot to talk about on this game and a lot to look forward to next week. Get on in here with us. It's Tennessee Fan Talk. Hey, Bulls fans, welcome to Tennessee Fan Talk, the show that is by Tennessee fans for Tennessee fans and your source for hilarious weekly updates on everything volunteers. And now for the moment you've been waiting all week for, here is Brandon Bird and the Duke. All right, guys, welcome back. It's we we gotta we gotta change the music on that intro. Get some hype up, some coming in hot, and not ever receive monetation again. Woo! <laughs> bring back That's, the beer barrel. Bring it back. Bring it back. It don't matter. It would stay right where it's at anyway, guys. Will Levis, who is the big talk about NFL going early in the rounds, and he's the big pro style quarterback. Ninety eight yards from this guy. Three interceptions. Come on. This dude's supposed to be better than Hendon Hooker? Well, Hendon Hooker is like a grandpa when it comes to <laughs> football years. I mean, everybody has a bad game, right? I mean, did I ever think Levis was that good? No. Well, Levis is a good I, am, am I Am I that guy that's that knows what, what I'm talking about? No. Mm. So I mean, only, I'll just, I mean, only 19 first downs for Tennessee. They're averaging 27, 28. Only 19. A uh, little bit of a slow start for them. 177 rushing yards on 40 attempts. 245 passing yards. 19 for 25. Average attempts 9.8. Three touchdowns. 422 yards for Tennessee against yet another ranked opponent we are five for five on putting down ranked opponents we are the ranked opponent killer kentucky will not be ranked after this week and tennessee maybe number one maybe i i just don't see how we move at all i'm okay i'm okay with them not being number one because then georgia has even more of a chip on their shoulder going into the game i I'm okay with them staying. Yeah, I mean, Georgia won, so why why would they move? Ohio State, I mean, a slow start, dominant win at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. Why Same would they time, move? I mean, Georgia end up, you know, giving up 20 and then <laughs> holding them. I mean, let's be honest, George, <clears throat> sorry. <laughs> a, little, a little late in the game, it's I drank – I drank five tall beers at the B Dubs, <laughs> by the way. I don't here's here's what here's the thing real quick before I get into this. People give B dubs heck. Like, oh, you're going to B Dubs. Da- yeah, B dubs had four dollar Bud Lights. Okay. I'm okay with B dubs. I, I know, they, yeah, you got all these bad, uppity they catch a bad rap from all these know. uppity kids have to go like to these to these uh boutique sports bars. No, give me B dubs. <laughs> Hit us up, B-dubs. Sponsorship. Sponsorship. But g- give me B-dubs. I have been a firm believer in B-dubs. I like and and what I, I, I read something online today. It's like Tennessee is giving decades worth of ass whippings out <laughs> for what we've dealt with over the past 15 years. Call us Captain Insano this year because we're going to open up a can of wolf ass on you. <laughs> Captain Insano. Who called us a Captain Insano? A defense. Four sacks. <laughs> For a loss of 23 yards. And the big thing, three of picks. course, at three picks, eight tackles for loss, another 33 yards. Three of those by my man, Wesley Walker. I mean, just laying the hit stick down. Mm-hmm. That's a fantastic, like, 
you know, Rain, Texas Ranger, Wesley, Wesley Walker, Walker, Texas Ranger, Texas Ooh. Boss Ranger. <laughs> he searched. You know what's funny though? I don't think we loss. scored. I don't think. I mean, I, I I watched the whole game. I can't remember exactly. I don't think we scored a touchdown off of any of the interceptions though. You know. I know. T- I know we didn't out of two. Maybe the yeah. I don't think we scored a single it, touchdown off of any interception, which is unfortunate. That's okay. Almost perfect <laughs> in the red zone again. Almost. Yeah. If, if you <laughs> look at some of the stuff that we didn't close up on offense, can you imagine how many more points? Can you imagine? Then never. The the, I was then a little worried. Start now would have been full, and everyone yep. would have got paid. Yep, I was a little worried with the refs starting out. I'm like, are these guys going to just be the nitpickiest group of? The, I mean, like crew, crew the you know, we went bad. through yet? They weren't bad. Calling holding on, hold, calling holding on a pat on a, a freaking extra point, yeah, calling bad. you know illegal blocking or pass offensive pass interference. That was behind the line of scrimmage. Come on now. I I think they just yeah, it was close. It was close enough where they went ahead and called it. Whatever. Uh, I did love seeing baby Stoops on the side <laughs> whining over uh, substitutions because he thought we substituted and uh, love seeing that, him. That is that, – that's, that's a sad thing to think about being a Kentucky fan. Like, you are having your Nick Saban right now, <laughs> if you think about it. Like, this is Kentucky's Nick Saban, and they're not even ranked. <laughs> right. I mean, it's the best coach they've ever had, right? I mean, it I, is. I don't know. I'm not it, no, I, I mean – Statistically speaking, it's probably the best coach they've ever had, yeah, and there's yeah. still stink. I mean, still fourth in the SEC, fifth maybe fourth for sure. Uh, they they are, might be third this year. They'll be third this year. Right now, they're fourth in the East. Yeah, oh, that's what I meant. Excuse me, in the East. I didn't mean the yeah. SEC. I meant in the East. Excuse me. Pardon my French. Who is it? Yeah. Tennessee. I mean, Georgia, Tennessee. Georgia, Tennessee, five and zero, four and zero in the conference. South Carolina and Kentucky, both mm. two and three in the conference, five and three overall. Florida, one and four in the conference, four and four overall. Missouri, two and three in the conference, four and four overall. And Vandy. <laughs> Poor Vandy. Vandy. That Vandy. win today might have saved Drinkowitz's job for another year. It might have. It was that was a that was a win. That was a good win. We we definitely they Big beat South, South Carolina. Carolina in October. They beat yes. South Carolina in October. In, in Columbia. Columbia versus Columbia. Uh, we all, <laughs> yeah, we all picked South Carolina. Columbia, I wanna, sure. Hey, I do want to throw a quick little shout-out to our guest from last week, Timmy. He picked 45-20, Tennessee. He was the closest of the three of us. Uh, spot, Way to go, Timmy. Spot on right there. But if we're playing Price is Right rules, you said 42. He busted. <laughs> yep. Closest to the actual price without going over. We, you always play Price is Right rules. Oh. Always. But as far as close to close, you said 42-28. He said 45-20. So, uh, awesome pick, Timmy. Awesome pick. Next week's games. Who would have thought six points? Let's be honest. Who would have thought six points? Next week's game. Running game. Next week's game. Is that what we're talking about? Ne- no, well, I'm just saying next week's games. Uh, we-, we get a full slate of SEC back next week, and there there's going to be some there's going to be some good ones. We're all going to be Tigers fans. We're <laughs> even though they're going to get boat raced by Alabama. Let's be honest. Huge, huge win over Kentucky. Boy, people were. Thinking it was a close, it was a. Uh, th- Could you I, just to think about yesterday? This in the 90s, yesterday, it actually it actually dropped from twelve and a half point spread to eleven and a half point. They were thinking the Tennessee was. They, they were yeah. Should, 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 should Tennessee in the over? <laughs> Who'd have thought Kentucky could only put up six? That just. I mean. Obviously, if Ve- here's the bottom line: if Vegas doesn't think it's going to happen, it's a fluke. Yeah. I mean, Vegas is in with the devil, so <laughs> you know what I'm saying. They have sold their soul to the devil. That's where they get their odds. That's probably from freaking Saint Lucifer, where it has like an odds company down in hell running it, and it sends it up to them, charges them for it. Here's your odds for the game. I do 
want to get into next week's game so that we don't spend a whole lot of time on this episode. We're going to take a quick break, jump into next week's prediction from these guys right after this. Hmm. I'm picking the dogs. All right, guys, welcome back. We got a big slate of games next week. You got uh, Kentucky and Missouri. (laughs) (laughs) Don't know. Snooze fest. Snooze fest of the week is right there. Actually, it may not be. Hold on, I got another one for you. Florida, Texas A&M. Definitely Texas A&M on that one. Uh, Liberty and Arkansas. (laughs) Alabama, LSU. Let's go, LSU. Yep. That would be that would be it. We're all nice gonna be meal. Tigers next week. Battling for Snooze Fest of the Week. You had you of course the Kentucky, Missouri. You also have South Carolina Vanderbilt. <laughs> no, nah, I think it's the worst game of I mean I, I don't know, that's pretty that's pretty snoozy, that'd, but Auburn, Mississippi State. That'd be that would be awesome to yeah, and the Auburn, Mississippi State. It'd be awesome if Vanderbilt pulls out a win against South Carolina. That would be great. For some reason, I don't know why I hate South Carolina as much as I do. They shouldn't matter, <laughs> but I hate them. I think it's because everybody gives them so much credit for no quick, credit to be given. Quick picks. Oh, quick, Davian Clowney. Just, just quick picks before we jump on our, our game so we keep everybody interested. <laughs> okay, quick. You ready? This is quick. Kentucky, A and M, hold on, Arkansas, Kentucky, Kentucky, Mizzou. I'm definitely going Kentucky. Yeah, 35-14. Uh, yeah, I, I can. I 35-17. Yeah, Kentucky on that. Uh, Florida and A and M, 24-21. A and M, A and M. What did you say? 24-21. <laughs> Yep, they both their offenses are terrible. Uh, yeah, I'm thirty five twenty eight a and m. Liberty, Arkansas, mm, thirty five six Arkansas. Two field goals. <laughs> oh yeah, thirty thirty eight fourteen Arkansas. Alabama LSU. Here we go. I would love to pick LSU. Mm-hmm. Come on, but it ain't going to happen. Do it. Pick the under. Nope. Do it. Nope. Mm-mm. Do it. Nope. Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. This is Baton Rouge. Fifty-two more than thirty-five. Is Alabama. This, is, this, is this a night game at ESP? It is at uh, yep, seven, seven Eastern. Seven o'clock. ESPN. Big one. Big one. Fifty-two thirty-five. Bama. Wow. It's going to be a boat race. Oh, you know, I, I, I legitimately think Alabama, Georgia, and Tennessee are in their own league compared to everybody else. I'm thinking that Alabama has to do what they did against Texas and do it last minute. I'm going Alabama, but only going 38 35. They're going to boat race at LSU. We boat raced LSU. South Carolina, yeah, but they've got it together a little bit since then. South Carolina, Vandy. Come on, Pig Van, do Carolina. it, do it. I can't. I would love to say this is going to be like a nine-six football game. <laughs> <laughs> All Phil Coles, but it's not. It's like a Big Ten game. We don't need to say four to six. South, South Carolina's going to hang. It's going to be twenty-eight fourteen at the half. Nah, it's a ball game. Spencer going, Rattler stinks. I don't care. What I'm going says. Vanderbilt 24-21. I'm just you trying to lost catch L- up. ETSU. You know they lost to ETSU last year, right? <laughs> Auburn, Mississippi State. Mm. Mississippi State. Oh, yeah, of course. 38-21. Mm, I like that score. Go thirty eight twenty four just to be different from you. Okay, we broke it down. There's our picks. Hopefully, you guys agree with me. Comment below on what you think uh, uh, all of those are be. But most importantly, let's get some comments on the Tennessee Georgia game right now. 
CBS Game of the Week right now. Uh, Hit me with it. As we're recording right after the Tennessee-Kentucky game on Saturday night, Georgia still number one, Tennessee still number three. We've already said we're okay with it staying that way. We don't want to add any more thing to Georgia. Georgia has a unique perspective this year, and that is their tight end rooms. Uh, full, full of talent at the tight end position. Georgia has yet to play a ranked opponent outside of their first game against Oregon. Who has Bo Nix as quarterback? Who has Bum Nix, who looks fantastic he, in the Pac-12? No, yeah, he's turned it around. I give it to him, but he also he, plays in the whatever the Pac-12 or the and, and the, the Big Twelve. And the, 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 what, I don't know what they're called. The the one, he plays he plays at two thirty in the morning, and nobody watches. Nobody watches the one, the one game that he's lost was against the SEC. That's hilarious. Day yep. landing against his previous boss. Mm-hmm. Um, looking looking at Georgia, I mean, they're constantly between thirty and forty points, except for that Mizzou game where Mizzou gave them hell. Uh, Georgia only put up twenty six. Um, yeah, they got a little sleepy on that one. You know it. I don't know. They maybe they weren't prepared. They you know they just didn't game prep odds. Mizzou were going to tear them up. Um, after that was Auburn and Vandy. So who cares? Florida is just Florida this year. Uh, South Carolina. I was hoping just, for a just, better world's largest cocktail party. Yeah, South Carolina just got you know just got beat by Mizzou. So. What do we have to look at from Georgia? We don't. It's it's almost like this is their first test. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. And I, you know? I I mean, no disrespect to Stetson Bennett, but I don't think he's that good. No. no. He's he, short. He has put up. Our defensive uh, line is very good. 2,033 two thousand thirty three yards. That Brock Bowers is insane. You know, they're, they're saying we, he, yes, we have uh, to watch. Will... I agree. This, this new Tennessee defense, this new amped up Tennessee defense, corners played well, every, line played well. Does Georgia's line have the ability to stop the scheme and the twists and the different looks that Tennessee's defense can give them? I don't know. Last year's Georgia team, yeah. This year, maybe not. You know, here's a like a spin zone. That I'm about to hit you with. We we both agree that this game against Kentucky, our offense didn't play that well. Right. Maybe our offense is not playing that well. Gives the defense a little rest. Mm-hmm. Which keeps so, them fresher. Yep. Spin zone. I'm just spin zoning it here. I, 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 and that's all we played so well on defense, on the defensive side, because our guys were not gassed because they score every 33 seconds. <laughs> And they're like they're like, damn it, we got to go back out. We got to got to get you back know, I just, out. There. I just had two sips of Gatorade. Shit, I got to go back out. <laughs> third down, the defense at third down conversions. They held Kentucky to two, two. Come on, now, now we weren't great. We weren't even five hundred five for twelve, uh, but we were two for two on fourth. You know what's the difference? You know what the difference is? Though? We go for it on fourth down. Don't matter where we are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fourth and twenty. I guess we'll go for it. Um, I mean, I'm sure it's something like this. Statistics show that's what you got to do. It's some kind of like whatever the analytics. That's the word I'm looking for. Analytics. They and, go for it. Yep. Yep. And do well. And and Josh Heupel gets me as an analytics guy. Like he is he is the epitome of an analytics guy. Is Josh Heupel. All right. The, our biggest pick, right here, Tennessee, Georgia. I know there's one thing I. Well, I mean, for my psyche, you know what I'm going to say. I will not be looking at any type of odds, or not even. What's the spread? I think we're thir- I think we're thirteen point dog right now. They said some yeah, in the broadcast of tonight's game. They had a twelve and a half. That will probably change. Uh, come out tomorrow. That's a big. That's a big. I think I well, think it drops. Me, that's a big difference. I think it drops to somewhere what, what, eight, six and a half nine? to seven and a half somewhere in there. Georgia's going to win 42-35. I like the score, but I'm going the other way. Well, I'm sure you are. I mean, down in my heart, I want to pick Tennessee, but you know I don't. That's kind of like me sending me that text today saying, oh, 
this is one of those games <laughs> that we we. He was, you know, I, we, we get a lead and Kentucky <laughs> comes back. I do that for my psyche. And because I've done it every game this year, I love. Once. I want to keep guys, doing it. Guys, I didn't do it against Tennessee. I, the the texts that I get from from both the Duke and what a horrible intro! I didn't even announce this out or nothing. Good lord, I'm just yeah, so hyped. Cares. I'm just hyped up about this game. Uh, the, but the texts I get him talk about, oh, we're playing sloppy. We're going to lose this in the end. And then uh, from uh, from Luke, uh, our resident Florida fan, <laughs> he said. Uh, Florida's not going to win another game. I hope they get You're blown ready to fire out. Some belt, Billy. He said, uh, "Yeah, we need to fire this. We'll hold out on sob. <laughs> he wanted to get rid of old Sun Belt Billy. I, I, I mean, no, no disrespect to Luke, <laughs> but that's one of the problems with the whole SEC in a whole as a whole is you hey. want to fire your guy right out the gate. If it ain't your guy, you want to fire him." What happened? I, I mean, mean, people are like that on Josh Heupel, too, and they better not say it now because, mm-hmm. I mean, that son of a gun might be coaching Oklahoma in four years. No. No, no, no. I love how he was out for blood today. Um, And he'll, we'll pay him. We'll, oh, yeah. we'll pay him. Oh, yeah. Which, you already, which we already are. He's probably top ten, right? I don't. I mean, I don't know. I, I think Sunbelt Billy is probably not the higher – I didn't think Brian Kelly was the hire, but he has seemed to turn something around there. There's been a switch flicked around there. Uh, and then poor I mean, Brian Kelly doesn't seem like he's the hire, but I think he has the ability of – he might be a D-bag. <laughs> he probably is a D-bag. <laughs> but if he wins, it doesn't matter. Yeah. You don't tell me you don't think he gives me D-vibe vibes. He does. He does. He does. So does the coach from Arkansas. I don't even know his name. Sam Pittman. Yeah, he's probably got stock in like Golden Corral. <laughs> he's probably like a shareholder in the Golden Corral. This penny Dynasty. stock. Yeah. <laughs> or Ryan's. Do you remember Ryan's? I do remember Ryan. Big win. Big win. First time we've been Big where win. we're at. In a long you've, time, you've you've got your pick uh, to help your psyche. I've got the realistic pick. Yep, balls taken down. And I'm going to text you right when the, I'm going to text you right when the game starts. Then I'll see you on the other side. I'll see take, you on the other side. Taking down Georgia, okay. taking the spot, claim to fame number one, and then they've got. Uh, and then we lose the SEC championship. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, someone beats Alabama, so we don't have a rematch against them. Although, on, although, or Auburn, if our one loss is to each other, I think we're still both in. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think there's absolutely no way that you don't put the two teams in the SEC championship if yeah. it's Tennessee or Alabama. If LSU's there, maybe not. Right. The first college football playoffs come out this week, right? They come out on Tuesday. I mean, we'll be in for right now. We'll be in at third or fourth. I would think so. We'd have to. Yeah, I would think so. Especially I mean, after it's Georgia the, especially Ole Miss. After it's probably it's it's probably it's, right now. It's probably Georgia, Georgia Ole Miss. Oh, not those. Ole Miss. Not Ole Miss. Oh, excuse me. Ohio, Ohio State. State. Excuse me. Georgia. Those four dollar beers. Ohio State, Tennessee, Michigan. Tennessee, Clemson, Michigan, Clemson. Nope. Clemson. Nope. Michigan. Clemson. Regardless, ball's gonna be in it. Ball's gonna take the one spot next week. Hey, how how upset is ESPN having to see Tennessee play three times in a year for College Game Day right now? <laughs> I mean, Lee Corso wasn't there today for health reasons. Yeah, I bet you he didn't show up in Athens. I don't want to be mean. I'm not going to be mean. <laughs> Don't say it because I I just picked up what you were thinking. I I, I hope you feel better, Lee Corso. <laughs> From the bottom of my heart. From the bottom of my trailer trashed heart. <laughs> yep. From the bottom. From underneath my crawl space in my trailer. I hope you feel better. <laughs> oh, that's funny. With that one. Remember, thanks for tuning in wherever you are, we are. We are at 
TN Fan Talk. That is TN Fan Talk. We are Tennessee Fan Talk. And it's fun. This to talk might about be Tennessee. one of the worst episodes we've ever done. No, it's not. <laughs> no. no. Thank you guys for tuning in to this episode. We will catch you next week. Catch you on the flip side. Go Vols. Go Vols. <laughs>